everybody, it is Julie. I know this is weird. I'm not up on my tripod. I'm literally holding my camera, so hopefully it is not too shaky for you. I just wanted to do a really quick intro for my flip through of my traveling book, book, book. I am really excited to have read this with Kellyanne and Sarah and Amber and Jennifer, and I read this and marked it up as well at the end. So I'm gonna do a flip through. It's my first time doing that. So I've got it on this little tiny tripod and I tried to like flip through. I hope it's in focus. I honestly won't know until editing. We're just gonna hope for the best. It's a journey we're on together, but I'm so excited to have finally gotten my first traveling book back to me. If you're interested in that, I will link up above all the information about the Traveling Book Club. And thank you again so much for being my trial group to Amber, Kellyanne, Sarah, and Jennifer. This was a blast, even though the book was like an average of three stars. It was not a fantastic book, but it was a really fun experience to do this with the ladies, and I'm excited to have the first one in the books, and I've got two other ones out. I will be contacting contacting the next group shortly for the July run for the uh, start. So very, very excited about that. I am here with my flip through of my traveling book. It was How to Be Bad by E. Lockhart, Sarah Malinowski, and Lauren Miracle. So hopefully the sound is okay and hopefully you'll be able to see me flip through. Hopefully everything is in focus. This is the first ever traveling book and it was with Kelly Ann. It was with Jennifer and Amber and Sarah. And what I loved about this is because it is the first time that I've done this, I didn't know how exactly they were going to put in here how and when they read. Kelly Ann used these little tabs. I loved that. She gave it 3.25 stars. Funny, fluffy read. Jennifer up here put the dates that she had it. She had it 4.5 through 4.23, three stars. I like how all the characters evolve through the story. And then Sarah is down here in purple. Sarah has her dates from 4.28 to 5.10, three stars, a cute, enjoyable story, not a book she'd typically pick up. And then Amber down here in blue had it 5.17 through 5.23, three stars, had a rough start, but picks up near the end. And then they all put their favorite quotes in here. Jack Sparrow, you are my kin, was Amber. Amber's favorite. Sarah's favorite was, you act like you're so special, like you're racking up points in heaven by being so good and looking down on the rest of us, but all the while you're missing out here on earth. And then Kelly Ann's favorite, people should be true, people should be who they say they are. Jennifer's is up here in green. She put, I wonder if everyone has secret fears and not just me. Let me tell you a little bit about this story. This is a story about uh, three friends. Well, kind of friends, I suppose. Here's the back. We've got Vix, who is a wild child whose boyfriend left for college and isn't returning any of her calls. Mel, who's a good girl, an expensive jean who wants everyone to like her. And Jessie, who will do whatever it takes when facing a life-altering secret. Vix's boyfriend is not answering her phone calls. She decides she wants to take a trip to go see him at his college in Miami. Jessie says, hey, I've got my mom's car. Let's take a trip. Jessie and Vix don't really have the money to fund a trip like that, but Mel does. So Mel comes to pretty much bankroll this road trip and and Jessie's kind of running from her mom and some health news that she's not okay with. And they're all, they've all got their own little secrets. And none of them are particularly enjoyable, enjoyable people either. So, so these are broken up into chapters. Each one of the authors wrote a different character and then they all kind of come together. So purple is Sarah and per they reference Timbuktu and Sarah says, why is it that people always use that when referencing a faraway place? And I don't know the answer to that. Amber over here is in blue and she said, ugh, so judgmental. Jessie is not a likable character. She is very judgmental. She's also like a religious holy roller. And uh, that kind of gets mocked throughout this book and shamed throughout this book. But she's also the quintessential holy roller where everything is so staunch and strict and she's very judgmental of other people, which is really difficult sometimes. This one right here is Kellyanne's favorite quote, which very early on they get called out for, Jessie gets called out for acting so special. This is actually by her mother, which is a, a brutal little fact to be called out like that by your mom. Green is me! So that's me. You better live this life of yours while you can, real living, the kind where you get a little dirt on your halo. I thought that was a good quote from the mom. Jesse is not a nice person, Amber said up here. And then down here, first impression of Jesse is that she is a snob and a brat from Jennifer. A lot of Uggs from Amber as Jesse goes through this book just being kind of pretentious. Sarah said, I have said the same thing to my friends. You know he loves you. We'll kick his behind for not treating you like he should. I think everybody said that to a friend. Amber, 
does not like Jessie so far. She needs a throat punch, which is a shout out to our live chat rooms. And then over here, Amber said, is this why I'm single? Laugh my ass off. Because guys respond to action. They respond to a body sitting next to them on an old couch while they flip through the channels. They respond to a girl who understands football, a girl who keeps her mouth shut and doesn't yammer on like it's important what she bought at Target that afternoon. A girl who eats when they take her out for dinner, which is super sexist and ridiculous. So no, that's not why you're single, Amber. Then we get Mel, who is from Money and definitely looking for friends. Out of everybody in this book, she definitely feels a little bit most uh, desperate. She wants to be understood, or so badly, and or the other girls definitely take advantage of that. Amber says she feels a little bit bad for Mel. She just wants friends, which is true, but she definitely allows herself to be a pushover, too. Down here, Sarah said... I've heard of poutine before, but I've never eaten it. And then we had a whole Twitter discussion um, in our thread about poutine and how probably no thank you. Sorry, Canadian friends. The amount of eye rolling on Jessie's chapters is unnatural. Mel would like Vix to stop farting. She says, stop pooting. Amber says she calls it that too. There's a lot of farting in this book. It's a road trip, guys. So there's a lot of that. And then we got poor Mel... And then I agree, Mel's kind of getting the shitty end of things. Uh, Jessie is not nice to her and treats her like crap, even though she's the one funding the whole thing. Here, Jessie is upset because God can hear you if you talk smack on him or if you use his name in vain. So I said, the God and Christian shaming is a bit much, but also so is making her hyper uptight about everything. I don't think that everybody who's religious is hyper uptight the way that they're stereotypically writing Jessie. Amber says she can't even take a joke, which is true, but again, and that's the author, um, which I didn't appreciate. Here, we've got them offering a ride to a stranger, just some random dude that they found. Amber thinks that's a poor idea, but they also just broke into a museum, so. I just want to hug Mel. She needs, she's such a sweet little baby. They're listening to Drops of Jupiter. Amber loves that song. This book actually came with like an entire playlist, which was pretty neat. And then we get the next day. So all that was Friday. Now we're on to Saturday. She may be annoying, but Jessie is a good friend. She does. She takes care of her friends when they're drunk and helps clean them up, make sure that they're safe, which is good. She's still a pain in the ass though. Ugh, I had more faith in Vix than this, said Jen. And I said, I saw it coming and it still made me angry. Vix did something pretty shitty to Mel who didn't deserve it. Um, Mel has a crush on a boy and Vix kind of moves in on him while Mel is passed out drunk. So not okay. Seriously, poor Mel, I said up here. And then over here I said, oh, what the fuck? How is all this her fault? And why is she taking this crap? Jessie's been acting holier than thou this whole trip, cranky and drinking, cranky about flirting, cranky about virginity. How can she act like that when she stole the stupid car and tortured her mom with worry and sadness? People should be true. People should be who they say they are. Vix has a good point. And I said, yeah, but she's not who she says she is either. They're all hiding things. So Vix kind of calls out Jesse for lying to them about this whole car and the trip, but they're all kind of lying to each other, quite frankly. Poor Mel. I really feel bad for Mel. A lot of, a lot of that throughout this book. Hurricanes are so scary. They're driving through a hurricane, which is terrifying. I believe this is Jesse. Jesse says the slut pulls into the parking lot, referencing Vix. And I said, burn, but also no slut shaming, dude. Like the slut shaming in this book was pretty ridiculous. My heart hurts for Mel. I think I've asked that once or twice. What's wrong with me, she says, because the guy doesn't like her the way that she wants him to. People cheat, people lie, people die, and sometimes people treat their friends like crap, but that doesn't mean you sit back and take it. And that's what I decided to highlight, because I think that was straight bullshit. Jack Sparrow, you were my kin, I cry. It's hard to see people as bad when you understand their reasons, I guess. That's what I call it. Oh, the hoo-ha. Amber. Amber gets a lot of this southern uh, language, I suppose. Jen likes Marco. Marco's the guy that they picked up while they were uh, breaking into that museum that they gave a ride to. Do Floridians say y'all? Somebody said y'all. Amber doesn't know if Floridian Floridians actually say y'all, so you gotta let me know if they do or not. Is this not in focus at all? Amber says they're being so dramatic. They really are. Um, honestly, too, I gave this, I think, three stars. The Character development through this was pretty awful. The slut shaming, religious shaming in this was pretty awful. I didn't dig it. Now we're on to Sunday. Been a long time here with no comments. Here we go. I wonder if you could know something about yourself and not know it at the same time. I wonder if everyone has secret fears and not just me. Everyone's afraid of something, Jen said. And then the pink was, oh no. And the pink was from Kellyanne. How do you expect people to be in love with people and be friends with people if you're scared of what they'll do if you really let them see you? Very true. Very true, Kellyanne. I agree. 
Oh my goodness, Sarah's got all the things to say. I probably would have thought the same thing that my boyfriend had found someone else that college can be a tough transition. It was kind of a relief that these were his reasons for not calling. So Brady ended up really having a hard time adjusting to college and he didn't want to admit that to his girlfriend who was still in high school. So he was unhappy and he was ashamed and that's why he didn't call her back because he didn't know how to fake that they were. He was having a better time than he was. Such a cute chapter. I love Brady. Amber, I agree. Brady was pretty great. Another classic miscommunication trope in this one though. It's not always about you. Amber's pissed at Jesse still. That's pretty typical. That's it? What about Jesse and Penn? The whole time, Jesse kind of has a crush on Vix's brother. And uh, you never get any closure. The book kind of just ends, which is ridiculous. Name dropping in the acknowledgements. You got a John Green name drop. I love when authors do that, frankly. It cracks me up. The authors are talking about MySpace. The extras were cute. Almost makes me want to dig out my old MySpace account and see if the group still exists. Jen, because I guess they were talking originally in a MySpace group. Then we have a quiz here. This is the bad girls quiz. So you could take this and figure out which one of the girls you were. Amber, fun fact, her check marks are backwards because she's left-handed. Jen is Mel. Interesting. She would have guessed that she was more like Vix. Amber was Vix. Kelly Ann is up here. She's a Jessie kind of girl because her answers were mostly C's. Sarah is definitely a Mel. And I was also a Mel. And then this was the playlist. So you get all the different songs that you could have listened to while you were reading the book that they listened to while they were in their car. Amber said, this is so much fun. Thanks for letting me be a part of this, Amber M. And then this is the author bios. And that's the end of this particular flip through, guys. That was how to be bad. I loved doing this with these ladies. That was my flip through, guys. I hope you enjoyed this format. Again, sorry about the handheld section here, but I uh, have my webcam on my tripod for my book buzz live in a little bit. So I didn't want to unscrew and move everything around. So you're just getting a handheld for right now. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed this flip through. It was really interesting for me to finally have a traveling book come back to me. It is so, so awesome. I love doing this. I'm excited about more of them finally coming back to me so that I can read them and flip through them for you guys as well. If you're interested, again, everything is linked up above in the card. I can't link it twice. It was linked at the beginning of the video, but I'll link it down in the bottom if I remember. A huge shout out to Amber and Sarah and Kellyanne and Jennifer for doing this with me. It was amazing and so much fun. And I know it's really intimidating to write in a book for the first time. So I appreciate all of you who pushed through that discomfort and marked up this book for me. I'm really excited to have this one on my shelf. So thank you guys for watching. And if you liked this video, give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. <music>